Welcome to the heart and soul of Charleston, downtown, where history meets modern living and cobblestone streets tell tales of the past. Today, we're diving into the very best places to live in this charming city, unlocking the doors to a lifestyle that seamlessly blends the riches of the past with the vibrancy of the present. By the end of this video, you'll have an insider's guide to the most coveted neighborhoods, hidden gems, and the lifestyle amenities that make downtown Charleston not just a destination, but a place you can call home. So whether you're captivated by historic architecture, seeking a lively social scene, or craving the perfect blend of culture and comfort, I've got you covered here in this video. First up, we have South Abroad. South Abroad is Charleston's most storied neighborhood and perhaps the most exclusive part of downtown and possibly even this entire state. So rows of palatial antebellum mansions line East Bay and Meeting Streets, but you'll find homes of all shapes and sizes on the quaint wandering streets as well. Residents here enjoy the tranquility with the proximity of urban living, though this district is very popular with meandering tourists and horse-drawn carriages. In the past 10 years, it's become a favorite of part-time second homeowner. Year to date, the median sales price is around 2.6 million. This is certainly one of the most expensive neighborhoods to live in downtown and rightly so because it's beautiful. Wagner Terrace. So I personally used to call this neighborhood home and I absolutely loved it. It's where you'll find a lot of the locals living. So most of the area homes were built from the 1920s to the 1960s and up through 2004. So various upscale custom homes have sprung up on the Ashley River. So this neighborhood is popular with young professionals and families given its close proximity to the majority, majority of Charleston's restaurants and shopping, including Upper King Street, which is booming at the moment. So it, it is bordered on the south by the beautiful Hampton Park, one of Charleston's largest parks. Here you can bike, walk, run, walk your dog, hang out in the park, it's a great place to be and be seen. Year to date, the median sales price in Wagner Terrace is around $800,000. So more affordable than South Abroad, but it still has a high price point. It's become a highly coveted neighborhood. Next up, we have Hampton Park Terrace. So Hampton Park Terrace is situated just south of the gorgeous 60 acre Hampton Park in close proximity to both the Citadel and MUSC and right next to the Wagner Terrace neighborhood. So listed on the National Historic Register, this neighborhood offers homes built beginning in the 1910s that range from small cottages to grand homes on the park. The homes here are gorgeous and its close proximity to all the best things in Charleston certainly makes this area a popular one. Year to date, the median sales price in Hampton Park Terrace is 1.5 million. So pricier than Wagner Terrace and more affordable than South Abroad. This small and exclusive neighborhood garners a lot of interest. Next up, we have Cannonboro, Elliottboro. So in the past decade or so, Cannonboro and Elliottboro have experienced significant gentrification. Old homes have been spruced up and new homes have been built. This is also one of the only areas in Charleston where you can legally short-term rent if you do not live in the area in the designated overlay, which makes it interesting to both primary buyers and investors. This area is also popular with college students considering its close proximity to King Street and the College of Charleston campus. There are also multiple great community gardens tucked in among these streets. You can find some incredible coffee shops and restaurants in this neighborhood. Year to date, the median sales price in this neighborhood is $915,000. Next up, we have Radcliffe Borough. So right next to the Medical University of South Carolina in USC, Radcliffe Borough is populated by doctors, college students, and we have more condos and some historic properties. So this neighborhood is an easy walking distance to Upper King Street with restaurants and shops galore. Year to date, the median sales price in this neighborhood is $925,000. Next up, we have Harleston Village. Harleston Village is one of the most diverse and lively neighborhoods of downtown Charleston. With its center point of Colonial Lake and Moultrie Park, you'll find all the kinds of people enjoying the outdoors, from college students to families, to the elderly, to tourists, to everything in between. Just a short walk to the City Marina and King Street, Harleston Village has also has a lot of corner stores and businesses, making it a very pedestrian friendly area. Year to date, the median sales price in Harleston Village is around 1.1 million. Last, but certainly not least, we have Anson Bro. 
So if you love to walk to restaurants and shops, Anson Borough is within a few blocks of the harbor and Market Street. The Harris Teeter Grocery Store is just across East Bay Street from this neighborhood. Median sales price in Anson Borough is around $870,000. So now that you know the best places to live in downtown Charleston, you may be wondering what else is happening downtown and I've got you covered. So I'll be sharing with you some cool restaurants to check out in downtown Charleston. If any questions about downtown Charleston or any of the greater Charleston areas, feel free to drop a comment, send me an email, or give me a call. I'm here to help.